हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू सुरेश अग्रवाल्स मैथमेटिक्स शॉर्टकट्स द चैप्टर ऑफ इंटीजर्स इट फॉर्म्स द बेसिस ऑफ सो मेनी हायर टॉपिक्स यू कैन नॉट हैंडल रैशनल नंबर्स यू कैन नॉट हैंडल एक्सपोनेंट्स एंड सो मेनी कॉन्सेप्ट्स ऑफ एल्जेब्रा द लीनियर इक्वेशंस वी कांट इवन ड्रीम अबाउट सॉल्विंग एंड यू नो फीलिंग कंफर्टेबल इन ऑल दोस टॉपिक्स इफ यू आर नॉट गुड इन the chapter of integers the students uh, start studying the chapter of integers in class 6 the basics are in class 6 and in class 7 you have little bit of uh, you know higher side uh, integer problems so in this video which actually forms the first chapter of class 7 the integers i am going to take up the basics of addition and subtraction of integers and you will see what type of problems the students have to practice in order to feel comfortable in this topic friends we have come up with our uh, app the app is titled learning loop so you can download this app from the google play store this is the logo of the app so that uh, just to you know make sure that you are downloading the correct thing and uh, you can have very nominal costing validity based ebooks on the app lot of courses being uploaded daily and then we have test series and uh, reasoning courses uh, lots of free videos and free pdfs also being uploaded on the app you will surely find this very useful the link of the app i have already given in the description box below so if you click that and it will take you to the google play store you can download register and see all those contents we are putting on the app remember the name learning loop let's see the questions which are in practice worksheet of this important chapter of integer this is the first practice worksheet of class 7 and i'm sure this worksheet you know which we are making are going to prove very useful for the preparation of class 7th exams and obviously for quantitative aptitude exams you know all these videos will be a treasure friends in class 7th the concepts of properties of addition and subtraction is very important how to add subtract integers along with comparison you know when we have an expression on the left hand side and one on the right hand side and we just have to compare which one is greater those type of questions so a wide variety of questions are covered in our practice worksheets so if you are in in class 7th the link of the practice worksheet we have put on the website also so you can download a copy using that link or you can download the entire set of uh, worksheets you know 64 different worksheets for class 7th all the links are in description box below let's see the question 26 11 minus 4 and minus 19 these are the four terms which are given all are integers positive or negative we need to find the next three terms of this series so if you see from 26 to 21 we have reduced the integer by 15 11 to minus 4 again minus 15 because 11 minus 15 is minus 4. 4 to minus 19 is again minus 15. So what we need to do to find this one is minus 19, which one, which is the previous integer, and then we need to subtract 15 from that. So what will you get? Negative and negative make a positive, right? So we need to add the integers. 19 and 15 is 34, and since both the integers are negative, you will have the sum or the difference uh, means uh, if you have only the negative integers and you are trying to add them then the result will also be negative if you have negative 34 in the first blank then negative 34 negative 15 which is negative 49 will be the next blank and negative 49 negative 15 will be negative 64 which is the third blank so the next three terms of this particular question are negative 34 here negative 49 and negative 64 so you need to be very good in adding and subtracting integers in order to feel comfortable in such type of questions where you have to complete the series by writing a certain number of terms of the series that's some of the questions given in the uh, practice worksheets which i'm i'm talking about okay let's see this we have a left hand side and then we have a right hand side so we have to check which one of them is greater or whether they are equal so if you simplify the left side 74 minus 
that's pretty obvious, right? 22 and then plus 33 is 55. So on the left hand side, we have 55. How about the right hand side? 74 minus 52 is again 22 and then minus 33. Now a positive and a negative integer, you will have to subtract and get the result. So 33 minus 22 is 11 and you always put the sign of the larger integer. So 33 has minus sign in front of it. And since 33 is greater than 22, we will have the result as negative. So the second part or the right hand side of this question is negative 11. And very obvious now that 55 is greater than minus 11. And therefore, in the box there, you will have to put the greater than sign. That means the left hand side is greater than the right hand side. That's again a set of such questions is given in the worksheet. Let's see a question of data uh, given there, reading the data and then finding something or simplifying something. What is this question? If you look at it carefully, you have a scale there. In the middle of that, you have zero. On the right hand side, you have 20, 40, 60, and 80, and so on. And on the left hand side, you have minus 20, minus 40, minus 60, and minus 80. You can see some alphabets written there M, N, P, S, T, R, and Q. All these alphabets are actually, they have a value on the scale given there. You can see the arrows marked there. All alphabets correspond to a particular integer. So the first thing is to identify those integers from the scale given there. So if you start with what? Whatever you need, okay? So you only have to find the value of those. So you can see the first question here. You have to find n plus p minus s plus q. So you first have to identify what is n. Watch carefully. n corresponds to this one, right? Uh, I'll put it around there, this one. So that is two units further left side of minus 40, right? And between minus 40 and minus 60, you have 10 units. So each unit corresponds to minus 2. So if you move two units towards the left, then minus 40, minus 42, minus 44. And therefore, n corresponds to minus 44. Likewise, if you see P, P exactly corresponds to minus 20 on the scale. And then S, S is two units on the right side of 0. So 0, 2, 4. So that's plus 4. And what about Q? Q is the last one there. So that corresponds to plus 80. That's pretty obvious. If you want to find the remaining four also, remaining uh, three or four alphabets which are given there, I'm not finding them because uh, the first part does not use them. So let's put the values. N is minus 44 plus P is, where is P? P is minus 20. So we'll have to put in the bracket because two signs cannot come together without use of parentheses. Minus S, S is plus four. So no need of a bracket there. Plus Q, Q is 80. So no need of a bracket there. So we, we have to simplify this minus 44 minus 20 plus and minus they become minus then minus 4 and plus 80. So which one are positive only 80 is positive and which ones are negative 44 20 and 4. If you add all all these 44 and 20 is 64 plus 4 is 68 so minus 68. So 80 minus 68 happens to be 12 or plus 12 is the answer of the first part. You can see another part there, Q plus R minus N minus M. So let's write all the values. Just check whether have we written all the values there or not. Q we already know, uh, plus 80. R, we don't know. Okay, R is one unit towards the left of 60. So that's plus 58. And uh, then N, N is, okay, N is minus 44 already. We have already found that out. And M, M is, 1, 2, 3, 3 units towards the left of minus 60. So minus 66. So only one value is left there, T. T is 3 units towards the left of 40. So that is 34, plus 34, right? So let's substitute all the values. Q, Q is plus 80, plus R. R is plus 58, minus N, 
n is minus 44 see the use of parenthesis there minus m m is minus 66 so 80 plus 58 plus 44 and plus 66 see everything converts to plus there and whenever this happens the situation becomes easy to handle so you can just add all of them this is 80 130 uh, 170 230 240 248 248 if i'm not wrong this is 110 and 138 248 yes or plus 248 is the answer of this particular question friends 60 such questions in a single worksheet i'm sure you will find it very useful find the link in the description and uh, do not forget to you know uh, solve all those questions to feel comfortable in this amazing concept of integers friends if you like this video do share it with all the class 6th and 7th students and all those who are preparing for competitions and i'm sure they are going to find it useful do subscribe the channel and click the bell shaped icon for lots and lots of good stuff coming your way in the days to come thanks for watching this and all the best